You will face opposition during the election for betraying me, Shoaibu says to Governor Obaseki. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. The Deputy Governor of Edo State, Philip Shoaibu, on Wednesday said the people of the state would resist Governor Obaseki during the upcoming gubernatorial election. Shoaibu said Obaseki was plotting to install an outsider as a successor Hence, he would be resisted during the election. Featuring on Arai television, the morning show, Shoaibu accused the governor of betraying him. Shoaibu lamented that despite his support and adding political value to Obaseki, he betrayed him. He said, and I quote, The governorship of Edo State will not want an outsider, and the governor is trying to bring an outsider. We will resist it. I am contesting this election not for the fluke, but for... But my people are interested in it. Anywhere I go, you can see the organic support. My support is not procedural like the governor is using taxpayers' money to procure support for his candidate. I feel betrayed by the governor. When we go to church, some biblical verses are beginning to make meaning to me since this incident started. Since this incident started, the heart of man is desperately wicked. I added value in terms of political value, finances, and political structure for Obaseki's second term. Obaseki and Shaibu has been at loggerheads since the governor's second term started. Amid the rift, he had declared his intention to run for the governorship election in the state. Upon his declaration, he vowed to defeat Obaseki's anointed candidate, stressing that no human being can stop him. Responding, Obaseki had said the People's Democratic Party PDP would decide Shaibu's feet. Now, I want to ask this question. Why is it that between the vice, I mean, between the vice for presidency, between the vice and the president, and then for governorship between the governor and the deputy, why is there always rift? I thought these people are supposed to be a team. So why is it that they are having this put to the extent of maybe the deputy won't come wrong for that position? You go constantly making no run for him. What exactly is the problem? Because I, I really cannot understand it. Let's say you have a deputy that is, that is there for you, that simplified you, as in when you were, um, how am I going to put it? When you were, um, when you were the governor, he gave you all the support you had. Do you understand? He gave you all the support you every day when you say, make you do him. But when he now wants to become that particular who wants to sit in that position you have sat before? It becomes a problem. It now becomes as if, you know, there is a big deal. I keep asking myself, why? The betrayer I see here is the deputy governor. How can he be contesting for governor after eight years as deputy? Are you the only reasonable person in the two states? The greed is why people lose trust. Man, I don't think so. If you and your 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 governor, they run as in you know they rub minds away. I don't see where this is going to be a problem. Do you understand? I don't see where there's going to be a problem. Except Obaseki now. Again, that's in which Obaseki. Man. In fact, two, two of them are to be watched. Fine. Two, um, what's it called? Both of them. First of all, him now. As a person. He wants, um, he has another candidate. Then, um, oh, Shaibu himself also wants to come outside and be. My own is, why can't they work together? But in the cause their rift. Do you understand? What in be the cocoa with the cause their rift? Betrayal is the key in Nigerian politics, and that is the reason they don't fulfill any promises they made during the election while in office. Hmm. Shall we keep saying outsider? Among you and Aswin, who is the outsider? You have been in government in the door for more than 16 years. What contribution have you made? Okay, okay. You want to take the chance of some people. Go and look for something else to do outside politics and allow peace to reign in a dual politics. This is my two cents. Now, this is what I'm going to see. Hmm? This is what exactly I am going to see. Um, this particular deputy, I'm just here, you know, that he was once, he don't do for government. Now, let us normalize if you don't stay for a particular position. That is what I've been all about. If you don't stay for a particular position, you leave. Except you are so good that you, you just had to bring you back. And your coming back is not... Nobody saying that you, they come back. As in, 
it is not you willing to come back it is people telling you stay it's just like nigeria the time we are going to get somebody who is genuinely going to be concerned about us who is going to work for our growth who is going to push this our economy from production and from consumption to production who is want is going to want to make nigeria a better country if that person finish eight years we fitted the person so mother or go sit down because you could stay here for 16 years that one is different you understand you understand he's maybe he's so good and uh-huh. but this one now you they force yourself okay to me the best of my knowledge that not that time they say you should stay if it is one year if it is two years carry your bag they go you have given your own idea allow somebody else to bring his own idea you understand Shabu, my guy, how can you win the election when you're ready at the betrayal? You and Obaseki have delivered by by PDP when it was hot on you by your predecessor. You both passed through those times and succeeded. Then trying the trying and te- tempting time. Now you said Obaseki betrayed you. No, you're the one that is betraying the people that make sure you don't go down. You people should have joined hands with Obaseki to deliver the state. PDP to deliver the state. PDP that help you not have beaten the hands that fed you. Okay, well, my own is that um, they always at larger heads. People will be saying they be deputy and the uh, governor or then be president and vice. Shaibi is overrated himself. He said he brought Oshemale into politics to contest for the governor of Edo State. He was asked to be deputy governor to Pasaki to add life to the ticket. He claimed to have provided vehicles and funds for the election. But he has forgotten that without Obaseki, he could not have been the deputy under PDP. Very soon he will know his level in Edo politics. Okay, well, those state people in Asabi, this one. In a no they carry last. Now, the Edo people, they take their policies very seriously. And then we want people to fall for the South to be saying, they use their this thing they play. The tribe of a man, he's so arrogant, full of himself. What gives him the confidence that he will win? Because we are tired of someone coming back to say his vote is stolen. <laughs> but we love your loyalty before. If you have calmed down, you would have been a future governor of Edo State. If you continue like this, this your political career is gone. Take note of these dates. You know Edo people now. I'm a Bini man. I'm supporting power shift to Ishan land. You can support any candidate from Mesa land. Let's be fair to all senatorial district. You're trying to be a spoiler. It will ruin your political career. Because of desperation, you are losing ground. As a former admirer, admirer, I will say, calm down. They say, Oga uh, Shaibu, they say, baby, calm down. Did you play that song for you? Baby, calm down, calm down. <laughs> All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come. You'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>